Okay, so we're walking, we're walking, we're walking, we're walking, we're turning, we're walking, we're walking, we're what? We're turning again, we're walking, we're walking, and we are still recovering our MP from that last fight. What's up, everyone? This is Alastroyer229, and welcome back! Let's play Final Fantasy XII! Now, last time... That was a really greatly timed MP, or mischarge recovery. Last time, we actually start... We actually made our way into the Still Shrine of Miriam. Time before that, we reached it, but we actually started to explore the place. And we... Encountered puzzles, we encountered really powerful enemies. It took a lot of MP, but I've been kind of just running around this room in the, for the past four or five minutes, recovering everyone's MP. Which actually, I'm a little surprised at how fast Vaughn is recovering his MP. It kind of, well, I'm not sure if it's still rather quickly. I mean, is it maybe because he has three quickenings, or is it because of his weapon? I don't know. Maybe it's because of his quickenings. And I'm just still running around in circles, still trying to gather MP back in case I need emergency healing from Balthier or an emergency quickening from Vaughn. Oh well, whatever. Ash could have used it anyway. So, in this episode, we are going to continue making our way through the Still Shrine. So, we're gonna get our main party back out, switch on over to Pinello, and let's move on. Uh, oh dear, wow. Um. Oh hey, there's something up there. Please tell me no enemies, no enemies, no enemies. Crap! Of course that that would be too much to ask for. Miriam Facer. Just everyone cast wind. Everyone. And run away. And run away. <laughs> oh man. I thought that would actually work for a second. <laughs> oh man, that looks so scary. No, but just... Ow. Just Fran and Ash just holding it back as it's just trying to get past them. Oh man, that looked hilarious. Yeah. Casting arrow again. Get this thing away from me! How is it not dead? Well, it's dead now. Go ahead and cure. Good thing Fran got a level up. Man, we're all about level 26. We're all a couple levels behind, really. In terms of what level these enemies are. Oh dear, and another one of these guardians. Well, these guys weren't really that bad. But I mean, I'm really using up all my magics here. Do. So just And it's still targeting me Maybe I Oh it's targeting friend now Okay well that works Go ahead and cast arrow Ash go ahead and cast arrow Fran get your attack in And then you can cast arrow Okay, then I will cast arrow one more time. Is it dead? It's not dead! Guys, yeah! It turned its attention to me! It's scary, guys! Don't let that happen, please! Don't, don't make him... Don't make his turn... Don't make him turn his attention on me! That's what I'm trying to say. And man, I've already used up a lot of MP. That guy's probably gonna come to life, yup. Okay, you know, it may not be a bad idea to go and delve more into my licenses. That might not be a bad idea. Because I could certainly use, deal some more damage and possibly try to get some more MP out of the deal. I don't mean in like quickenings, although quickenings would be nice right about now. I am using up all of my MP though. He's just gonna keep his attention on Ash. That would actually be really good. Yay! 
Okay, so now we head on over this way. And we have ourselves. Oh boy, another pedestal! What is it this time? Let's see. Treaty Seeker, Relic Held, this pedestal embrace, paths untrod discover. Okay, well, well, since Penelo has the least MP, let's go ahead and have her equip the Dawn Shard. So then, touch the pedestal. Hey! Now we have options. A hidden path is revealed. Awesome. Except now all my MP is gone. You know, the thought just occurred to me. I should maybe just give the Dawn Shark to Balthier. Or not Balthier. A Bosch. And then just have him take care of everything. I also kind of want to go the other way because experience. And since I was just talking about licenses. Oh boy, we actually do have quite a bit of licenses. License points. Whatever. Increase magic potency. That would be nice. Increase physical attack damage. Remedy lore. Increases strength when HP is full. She doesn't use that. Um, increased duration of status effects. I don't really use status effects. Ethers restore more MP. That would be nice. Let's go ahead and get battle lore. That gives me a gambit and reduce action time by 10%. Heck yeah. And there's the max HP 500 with 155 license points. Ooh. Ooh. That's good for Fran. Awesome. And then we go to Ash. Go ahead and get her that. Max HP up 500. And... Well, since she actually uses a shield, I'll go ahead and give her that. Doesn't really accomplish me that much. And now is really hardly the time for... Uh, trying to mess with weapons. Although I would like to... I don't know. Help increase their actual stuff. Because channeling would be nice. Remedy more potency would be good. And do 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 gambit. Gain MP after taking damage. That would be nice. Surprised I haven't gotten that. Phoenix Lores. Um, that is another interesting thing. Like, I do not invest in techniques at all. And there are two quickenings over here, so. Uh, maybe when one of the guys is finished up with their respective things, probably Balthier, uh, he can invest in techniques. But speaking of Balthier, go ahead and give him a few good things. Um, do do do, channeling, magic po, magic lore, channeling. And another magic lore. Let's see. Also, that would be nice. Is Vaughn? Yeah, Vaughn can get that too. That would be very nice to have have them have. Go ahead and give Bosch that. And Bosch all really doesn't have that much. So license that many license points. So we'll give him Martyr. Max HP of 200, why doesn't he have that? Heck, Balthier doesn't, or Vaughn, for that matter. Heck, that'd be nice for them to have. Except, that really doesn't help them that much. But let's go ahead and, yeah, remedy lore. Everyone should probably have all the remedies anyway. Okay, so now we've used up all of our licenses, or license points. Also, it would be a really bad idea if I had Pinello try to do that. So let's go ahead and cast Arrow. Fran, go ahead and cast Arrow. And let's just attack since I'm since Ash is more of the tank. 
Sort of. It would be nice for them to really get going. Man, that plus 500 HP is really nice. I really need to give Pinello that. Because that would be really good for her to have as well. I mean, 2200, 1900, 1000. Yeah, I think Pinello kind of needs some more health. That would be nice. Oh, well. She'll get more health when she gets more license points. And she'll get more license points when we kill more dudes. So then just attack. I don't know why that was not on attack. I will continue to be the tank. And it's using dark on all of us. And eh, that wasn't bad. It missed simply because he more targeted me. Ooh, nice job whoever hit the critical. Also, he is really freaking slow in his attacks. Heck, I don't even need to cast arrow. Although, it wouldn't be a bad idea to cast Cure. Because that'd be a little nice right about now. Okay, so now that we have more paths open to us, we can head backwards. Yeah, backwards. Okay, and now we have more options available to us to go. Woo! Alright, so down this way, I could probably cast Cure on myself again. Just that I continue to have a very good amount of HP. And then another screen transition. So... Wait, a green crystal? What is that? I have never seen a green crystal before. A life crystal? Crystal bug! Okay, yeah. The Moogles warned me of this. At least I think it was... I'm pretty sure it was the Moogles. Crystals that are actually monsters. Yep. Saw that... Oh, dearie, dearie me. That is really freaking bad. And I also have absolutely no idea what it's weak to. Well, crap. And it's using all sorts of elemental spells. Okay, um, Pinello, go ahead and cast Kira on all of us. Okay, Fran, I don't need you casting that. Okay, now would be a real good time for a quickening. Because that'd be a little nice right about now. Damn it! Oh, I finally got one! Time up! Damn it! Only a hundred damage? Weak. And we're all being targeted, so I can't switch out. Oh, I'm, we're all still being targeted, so I can't switch to Vaughn! Crap! Okay, thanks for the cures. But I can't switch to Vaughn because he's freaking targeting all of us. And I'm the only one who's really attacking. Uh. Oh, whatever. As long as Penelope's out of magic. Oh, no. She can still cure me. Okay, guys. Seriously. Get to attacking. Thank you. Me? Oh, wow. We actually needed to do that. And we get a proper save crystal. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness, I need this. Well, that was really annoying. Still, it seems like that, like this would, yeah, that just leads to the other path. Still, very least, really needed that. Now all of our MP is back. Vaughn has all of his MP back. We, we're all really good on health. The game is saved. Let's go on. Oh, dear. Blood Gygus. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and attack that one. They're both aggressive. 
So let's go ahead and just focus our attack on one. Oh wow, these guys are wusses. Wow, that wasn't even a lot of damage. And I blocked it! Eat that! Strip of festering flesh. Okay, let me get my attack in. And then I can try to steal because I would like to have money. Damn it. Wait, try attack. Oh dear. Come on. Let me try to steal from you. Earth Magicite. Okay, well, we got that taken care of. Uh, Fran, you go ahead and cast haste. Because you kind of need to do that. Also, it probably would have been better if I would used someone like Pinello to get haste. Whatever. I can just have Pinello heal. It's actually really good for the fact that I, I got the 500 HP. I actually found that. Okay, so now we have to fight both of these. Miriam Guardian! Oh, crap! Okay, yeah! Let's switch back to Ash. Arrow! We've got that freaking Guardian on us! Okay, this is bad when you've got so many enemies going up against you. This is... Ugh, this is what usually kind of makes things difficult is when you have a lot of enemies on you and they're all attacking the same person oh last wave okay, well, one of them's down okay two of them are down now let's try stealing from the guardian oh nothing to steal really well not really surprising but whatever okay he's focus his attention on me good I'll get your attack in and then cure us all because we could kind of use some heals yes and you leveled up good job Pinello okay that looks kind of frightening what is that it's an enemy whatever it is it's an enemy it's a dark mare with 14,000 holy jeez okay um I'm gonna run around and get Ash and Pinello's MP back. I'm going to freaking try, um, try quickening. Or oh, wait, there's a door right here. Ancient door. Powerful magics bind the door. God dang it. Whatever. I'm going to make sure I have Pinello's MP back and I'm going to freaking try quickening me a dark mare. See how well that works. So excuse me for a little bit while I do some more running. Man, my characters are really getting the exercise they need. Okay, well, a blood guy gets just kind of randomly summoned or spawned or whatever. And that basically allowed Penel to get all her MP back. And it seems like we... There's another enemy. Why are these blood guys just kind of suddenly respawn? Well, whatever. Oh, wait, not a summon. Intercession on the Dark Mare. Let's see how well this works. Here goes. Okay, so that's one. Pyro. freaking Pyroclasm. Not that North Wing's low. Oh no, wait, Pyroclasm was Bond's. Was that Bond's thing? Yeah, that was, that's definitely Bond's thing. Boom! It freaking looks like the freaking apocalypse. Just everyone use all of your quickenings! Oh, it's like a dark mare, I think. Which makes sense, because it's a freaking moose or something. And then red spiral. How about some of this? Right, we got it again. Got a surprise for you. Aha! And again!
Got a surprise for you. Just gonna keep on going with Vaughn! This was a really good thing to have invested into. <laughs> I'm so glad I listened to you, you guys and got the quickenings. Because if nothing else, this is fun. Just freaking obliterating whatever enemy stands in my way. <laughs> oh man, I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> And even better, the fact that, I mean, there's three people. I mean, that gives me just that many chances to actually pull off a quick hit. I mean, with that many chances, like, I'm just pulling off quickening after quickening after quickening. And I'm loving it! <laughs> I must be strong. I'm getting a lot with Vaughn, though. Kind of surprising. I only got one with Mello. In fact, I think I started with Mello, and I haven't seen her do a quickening since. It's just been Ash and Bond. Which I'm not really opposed to. How about some of this? Because this is working very well. We may have 19,000 HP, but I'd like to see how much we deal. Oh, wow. I think I have actually could have done, done something with uh, Penella right there. Whatever. Whatever, this is so freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, I really want to see just how much damage I deal to this thing. I mean, this isn't even a boss, but... I mean... Holy crap. Ah, oh, darn it. Whatever. 16 hit combo. And what's the ultimate this time? Arc Blast! How much damage was that? 17,000! Well, it was enough to freaking murder that thing! Oh man, it did not see us coming. Well, whatever. Let's go ahead and get these blood gagasses. I'll stick with Vaughn just until the end of the episode, which will probably go once we finish off these blood gagasses. I mean, if nothing else, I kind of need Vaughn to recover his MP, which admittedly, we're not that far from a save crystal, so I could just very easily just go back and just recover all of our MP. What is this? The Sword of Judgment. The statue bears an inscription, seems to have been left by King Wraithwall. To Guardians 3, I trust that the worthy may pass, all others be shunned. Oh. To Guardians 3. Does that mean that I can only... Wait, does that count with the party, or...? Magic's buying the door fade. Guardians 3, I trust that the worthy may pass, all others be shunned. I wonder if that means that if I go through that way, like, I can't switch out my party members. I certainly hope that's not the case, and that that just means it's just referring to everyone in my party. Because there can only be three people at the party at this point. Well, whatever. If not, then I'll just keep Vaughn with me for a while, since it's going to be a lot more beneficial to, for him and a quickening at this point than it would for, um, for Fran to do anything. Even though Vaughn has about as much health as Penelo. Ooh, a Gemini gem. Even though Vaughn has about the same amount of health as Pinello, I mean, he still has a pretty, pretty decent good amount of defense on him. And among the uh, alternate team, 
He does... He is the most furthest along. I'm pretty sure he's the highest level of the three guys. So, if anyone would take Bran's place temporarily, I would think Vaughn would do the trick. But, that will do it for this episode. So, hit up the save crystal real quick. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. We are going to head through that door beyond this room and continue our trek through the still shrine of Miriam. I really hope that the inscription of Wraithwall was just simply referring to a party of three and won't just freaking lock out the other three members that just don't have to be in the party. I really hope that's the... That I'm not just... That I'm just imagining things. I really just hope I'm imagining things. So, until next time, everyone. Take care.